Hi everyone and thank you for joining again. This time I will show you how you can make this beautiful diamond pattern here. That was the front, that was the back side. We will start with a chain in an even number, then do three rows single crochet before we start the pattern. So let's start. Like I said, chain in an even number. Starting with a slip knot. And then start your chain. So for my little sample here, I will make 20 chain stitches. You just go on as wide as you like, as long as it's, as it's an even number. As soon as it is wide enough, we start in the second chain from the hook, this one here, and make a single crochet. And then you just go on with single crochet until you reach the end of the row. At the end of the row, this is how your crochet piece should look like. Then we make one chain for the turn, turn around and just go on with single crochet. Next row finished. This is how it should look like now. Again, one chain, turn around and go back all the way with single crochet. So now it will get more interesting. Chain again, turn around and now we will start the pattern. Single crochet and now you will see this little hole in the first row where there are these horizontal threads and you poke in right in the middle of these threads. Poke in and now yarn under 
This is very important. Look close how I place my hook over the over the thread. Pull it up far enough. This is also important because otherwise your piece will bend and close the stitch. Now again single crochet and we will again poke in between these two horizontal threads, yarn under, yarn under, this is important, pull through, pull up far enough and close and single crochet again. So this is the reason why yarn under is so important here because otherwise these two strands would be twisted and it's important for our pattern that they are placed next to each other and are not twisted like they are for example on the back side. Now you go on like this until the end of the row. So another one, poke in between the two horizontal threads, yarn under like this, maybe different ankle, angle, pull up and close and again single crochet. And the last one, yarn under, pull up, close and single crochet. So again, let's have a look how the two sides should look like now. So this is the back side where there are twisted threads and the front side should look like this. So your poke through stitches should look like little V's. Then you chain again and now we always work together these two threads here. So always the ones facing each other. The first one on the very right side doesn't have a partner, so we skip this one by making one and two single crochet. And now, instead of making a normal single crochet in this loop in the top row, we will work below the threads of the two Vs, like this, poke in below them, grab the yarn, pull it through, pull it up and close. 
close. Then again, one single crochet. And now there are two threads facing each other again, which means that we will poke in below them, pull the thread through, pull it up, close the stitch. And again, single crochet. And so on. So, like I said, only when there's a thread facing the other one, we will do that. So, the ones on the sides doesn't have or don't have a partner. So, we just make two single crochet. And this is how it should look like now. We go on with a chain, turn around, and now we will pull through this stitch here. A little close up. It's placed between the two pull through threads this one here and your hook should be there. So right below the stitch where we just worked together the two strands of the V. So let's do it. That means we start with one and two single crochet. Now poke in in the shown space, yarn under, pull it up and close. Single crochet. Poke in between the two strands. Check the position of your hook. Yarn under. Pull through. Pull up. and close. And again, single crochet and then pull through again.
and you just go on like this until the end of the row. So, coming to the end of the row, we end with two single crochet because we never end on a pull through stitch. And this is how it should look like now. This is the front. Now we make one chain again. Turn around. And again, our mission is to work together these two strands of the V-shaped stitches that we ju just made. That means we start with three sing single crochet Now we are on top of these two, poke in behind them, pull the thread through, pull it up and close the stitch. Single crochet again and then poke in behind the two threads again. Pull through, pull it up and close. And you go on like this until the end of the row again. So last stitch and this is how it should look like now. So as you can see you will always have one row where the V stitches start further to the side then one row where it's one further to the inside like this. That means we are on the row where they started on the inside. Now the next row will look like the row, the first V-stitch row that we made. So starting with one single crochet, the pull through stitch gives you the orientation. You 
poke in in top of it or on top of it where again the two horizontal threads mark the stitch that you need. Pull through there like this. Then single crochet again and again poke in there above the pull through stitch of the last v-stitch row. This is where your hook should be. Yarn under, pull through, pull up and close. Then single crochet again and so on. So this is how it should look like. The pull through stitches are always above each other in one line like this. They are in one line and so on. And every time you are on the front you work together the two neighboring threads of the V.